Welcome to our Art Resin Workshop. Today we're coating an art panel using resin tint and art resin to make a flow art piece. And we're going to be coating a photograph to give it that nice shiny surface. Are you guys ready? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's get started. So our first project is going to be our art resin photograph. We've already prepped our pieces by painting the edges of the pieces white, as well as the face of the art panel. And we've got our photo glued to the surface. And now we're ready to start with the resin. If you are working with a glossy photo, then you should be good to go. You can just pour the art resin right on top. If you have a matte photo or a photo that's printed on maybe lesser quality paper, we're gonna use our Art Seal product and do a coat of that first before we apply the art resin just to provide a nice sealant in between. Here's our art resin, ready to go. We're gonna mix one cup of resin, one cup of hardener. Art resin's mixed at a one to one ratio. So you're gonna go 50-50 and dump in here. And as long as you measure accurately and then you stir thoroughly, we should have no problem. And we actually have an art resin calculator if you go to artresin.com and it'll tell you how much you need for whatever piece you're working on. Art resin is non-toxic and used as directed. There's no VOCs, no fumes, no BPA, no respirator needed when working in a well-ventilated area. So once you have both parts together in the container, you wanna stir for a full three minutes. So put a timer on or sing your favorite song, but yes, three minutes at least. So what you're doing when you're mixing this, you're causing a chemical reaction to happen and it will take this liquid and turn it into a solid in 24 hours. So as you're stirring, just make sure that you're scraping the bottom and the sides to make sure it all gets mixed thoroughly. If it looks cloudy and it's full of bubbles, that means you've stirred properly. So next we're actually gonna pour the art resin right onto your photo, very carefully of course, and spread it out. And what we're gonna try to do is just let it dome on top. So you're gonna bring it out to the corners and the edges and stop. I've given you the spreaders where you can kind of drag it a little bit. It's thick like honey, right? So you, have, you do have some control. So just pull it and push it along. Just kind of drag it up into the corner and it should just stay there. You see that there's, like, there's a lot of little bubbles in there and it's hard to see your image perfectly, right? So we're gonna take care of that right now with our artist's torch. See how it takes all those bubbles out? It's very, very easy to see all the bubbles popping and you're getting a nice clean image now. Yeah, just keep your torch moving at all times and you should be good. And if you're not getting them out, it might mean that you need to move a little closer. It's satisfying, right? Oh my goodness. Yeah. So now that we've torched our pieces, we're just gonna move those off to the side, put them under a box to protect it from dust. Alternatively, if you'd like to take your work home with you at the end of the workshop, just create your piece inside of a hinged box. When it's time to cover and let cure, the box makes it really easy to carry it home carefully. After 24 hours, you can reveal your beautiful creation in the comfort of your own home. So now we're gonna move on to project two, which is our project using resin tints. So now we get to color our clear art resin and make some beautiful pieces with that. So you wanna shake well, and you can use any color combo you want. We've got 24 colors. So what we're gonna do is take these cups that you have here, and squeeze out some drops. You can do more than one color, mix them together in the same container, but feel free to add as many drops or as few drops as you like, depending on the translucency or the saturation that you're after. What might happen is you might start to pour and you might go, oh, that's a little too thin, I want more color, and then you just add more. Stir well, and if you mix white into your color, it's going to make that color not only a little bit lighter, but also more opaque. And once you've got them all mixed up in your different cups, the fun begins and we're going to pour, pour, pour and see what happens. And there's really no rules here. You're gonna just go with the flow, get it, and see what happens. And then what I like to do is I like to put clear somewhere in there as well because what that's gonna do, it's gonna play with the colors that are next door to it and make it more translucent so that you've got a variety of different shades. And then I like to pick the piece up and let the colors kind of drag into each other. Now you could take the toothpick and you could run your toothpick through it. Simple as that, makes kind of a cool design, you see? And once again, remember to cover the piece for 24 hours. The hinge box comes in handy once again while you work and it offers a compact cover and carry home solution. 
Let it cure for 24 hours. It was amazing. I loved it. We loved it. Really shining. I think I'd like to do more of that uh, mixing the colors. Just so excited to see what it looks like when we're done. So that wraps up our workshop. Thanks for coming everybody. These pieces look amazing and you should all be very proud of yourselves. Great job everyone. If you're looking to attend an Art Resin workshop, please contact your local Art Resin retailer.